Welcome back to our Python project on creating a Caesar shift cipher. In our last video, we created the method, method to incre encrypt a message by shifting each letter by three places in the alphabet. So a B would be enciphered by an E, and an A would be enciphered by a D. Now we need to create the method that will decrypt the message by shifting the, en the enciphered text back three letters so that we come back to our plain text message. Let's get started. So we're going to create a method called def decrypt Caesar shift and we're going to pass in the cipher text this time. And we will need to create a Caesar alphabet. So we'll say C E A S A R is equal to, and then we'll need to start at D. So the first letter will be D and E, then F, then G, then H, then I. J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S T U and V and W and X then Y, then Z. Now we can't stop at Z because what we have to do is wrap around to the other side of the alphabet until we get back to D. So we're going to say A, then B, and then C to end our alphabet. Okay, so once we have our Caesar alphabet in, then our shift num is still going to be 3 because we're shifting 3, but we're going backwards, so we're going to subtract the shift num this time to get the old index. Um, so we're going to make a variable called plain text to dump it into. So we're going to make a blank variable of type string called plain text. And then for each character in our cipher text, we want to um, get the index of it out of the cipher, al cipher alphabet. So we'll say index again is equal to Caesar dot index ch. So we're using the index method in a list to, um, and then we're passing in the variable of the ch which holds the letter a single letter out of our cipher text and then what we're going to do is get the old index so we'll say old index is equal to the current index which is our caesar index minus our shift num And then we are going to do the same thing above where we said shift to character is equal to alpha um, Caesar bracket. And then we're going to use the old index. Oops. 
close the bracket. And then each time through, we'll dump each um, shifted character back into our plain text message. So plain text plus equals shifted character. And if we want to test the process like we did above, we can say print plain text. And then when we're done, of course, we'll return the plain text. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this message. So down here, I'll do a print for an empty line with just open and close parentheses. And then I'll print decrypted message. And then I'm going to concatenate that with, oops, close the quotes, and I'm cat with plain text. And what we'll have to do actually first is call it. So we have to do, before we can print it, we need to call it. So we'll say plain text is equal to decrypt um, Caesar. C E A S A R S H I F T, and that'll have the ciphertext in it. All right, so let's go ahead and test our program. So we'll say attack the troops. On, and you can see that it's um, encrypting looks like we have um, oh here we go so our original message was attack the troops at dawn and then it encrypted it and then you can see the process leading up to the decrypted message which is attack the troops at dawn except we're missing spaces because we took those out in our original message. So it looks like our cipher works. We just need to comment out this print statement and we'll run it once again. I'll make the message a little shorter. And there we go. We ended up with the original message. So our cipher is usable to encrypt or decrypt messages. And I will see you next time.